So here's the bottom line. Electric cars may be greener than their alternative. However, they can never be sustainable unless the batteries are recycled. In the last few years, the sales of electric vehicles has seen a major increase. At present, there are over 10 million pure electric cars on the planet. The sales for electric vehicles have been at least 30% higher than the previous year for the last five years. And these are just cars. In the transport sector, marine transport is also looking into electrification. Although the volumes at present are very low, but it has to be emphasized that marine batteries are at least an order of magnitude bigger than the standard EV battery. For example, a 4 megawatt hour battery such as that used in a single electric ferry in Denmark is equivalent to 40 Tesla Model S cars. There are also grid size energy storage batteries being built and we haven't even touched on the billions of devices in our homes from mobile phones to power tools. Lithium ion batteries are omnipresent. In short, it does make a strong case for recycling the lithium ion batteries. It has to be mentioned though that for the near future it is not the lithium in those batteries but the presence of cobalt and nickel that is more precious. When it comes to cobalt, the reason for its recycling is not just the rarity of the metal, but the unethical mining practices used for extracting it, such as exploitative labor. Nevertheless, lithium and other materials used in lithium ion batteries are precious commodities and recycling is the only way to ensure a circular economy and sustainable life cycle for future battery based products. In the recent years, the recycling of lithium ion batteries has started and most of it is backed by government funding, but there are private investors too. There are three distinct processes for recycling lithium ion batteries that have been developed so far. Hydrometallurgical process, which is the most common, the pyrometallurgical process and direct recycling. The recycling process has the following stages. In the first stage, the battery pack is discharged. In the second stage, the battery pack enclosure or the outer casing is disassembled. Note that the outer casing is mostly made up of cast or sheet metal. The current carriers such as bus bars are recovered and power electronics are stripped. In the third stage, the modules that have the cells inside them are then sent to the shredder. Note that there are plastic and metal parts in the module other than the cells, but they are hard to disassemble. Tab bus bars are normally welded onto the cells. In the fourth stage, the shredding is done in either a vacuum or a nitrogen or a carbon dioxide rich environment so that the electrolyte does not catch fire. In the fifth stage, the electrolyte is recovered by a drying process. In the sixth stage, metals and plastic parts are separated Thereafter, the remaining mixture is called a black mass that contains lithium and metallic salts. Finally, the metal from the black mass can be extracted by either using hydrometallurgical or pyrometallurgical processes. The value of the materials recovered from the batteries varies and depends upon the chemistry. For example, the recycling of lithium cobalt oxide cells gives the highest value of $12.5 per kilogram or 9 pounds per kilogram. While recycling lithium manganese dioxide cells delivers the lowest value of $5 per kilogram. Having said that, the recycling process, although is necessary, but is still not profitable. One of the reason is that the cells are currently not being designed with recyclability in mind the lower production cost of the cells and attaining the highest energy density is what is driving progress in cell manufacturing. However, with improved recycling methods, it has been estimated that recycling sector would become profitable by the year 2025. The cost of recycling lithium ion battery in Europe is around $62 per kilowatt hour whereas the value of the recovered material on average is $42 per kilowatt hour. It is estimated by the year 2025, the cost of recycling in Europe will drop to $40 per kilowatt hour, which will make it a profitable business. 
Note that in China, the cost of recycling batteries is already low. It stands at $32 per kilowatt hour. A study has estimated that recycled materials and second life batteries can generate a market worth of more than $6 billion based on current metal prices. While at present, recycling is being carried out in Germany, China, US, Japan, Australia, and Singapore, recycling units need to be set up near most population dense areas. The reason is that 29% of the cost of recycling is the cost of transporting the batteries to the recycling center. We hope more recycling centers will be set up across the globe once it becomes profitable. And with this, the video is concluded. If you learned something from the video, please do give it a thumbs up. Thank you for your attention.